Do you really think the CCNA still matters? With AI now, we don't really need to know how to configure a router anymore, right? Honestly, it's not a stupid question. Because yeah, let's not kid ourselves. Today, artificial intelligence can do tons of stuff. It generates code for you, proposes network topologies, creates firewall rules, and even simulates addressing schemes. So yeah, you could think we don't really need to understand networks anymore, but hold up, that's a belief that can make you crash straight into a wall. Spoiler alert, AI isn't gonna replace network admins. It's just gonna highlight the real difference between two profiles, those who truly understand and those who just copy and paste. Since AI invaded our news feeds, everyone's going crazy. And naturally, the shortcuts start raining down. Why learn to configure a switch? ChatGPT can do it for me. AI will automate everything. Might as well learn to control it rather than waste time with VLANs. Networking? That's all done. Now it's cloud, AI, and that's it. These phrases, two years ago, nobody said them. Today, we hear them everywhere. But the real danger isn't just hearing them, it's believing them because they create a super dangerous illusion. The idea that you don't need the basics anymore, that you can skip the foundations and let AI do the dirty work. Except in real life, it's like wanting to drive a Formula One just because you read a tutorial on Instagram. AI doesn't think for you, it suggests ideas, options, but in the end, you're the one who needs to know if it's a good idea or a huge mistake. And in networking, a bad idea isn't just a small hassle, it's an outage, a forgotten ALC, messed up routing, a poorly managed loop, and boom, the entire infrastructure collapses. AI is powerful, really. It can spit out a complete OSPF config in two seconds, generate a network topology for you, explain a protocol, simulate an addressing plan, even fix a syntax error in an ACL. Pretty cool, right? But there's a huge trap in all this. AI doesn't understand what you're doing. It has zero context. It doesn't know your physical network. And most importantly, it can't guess what it doesn't see. You can tell it, generate a switch config with three VLANs and access ports. It'll produce a clean script. But if you don't know what the ports are for, if you don't know which VLANs to create, or why we're segmenting the network at that point, well, you've just copy-pasted something that's useless, or worse, that breaks everything. And there's the fallacy. You think you're saving time, but actually you're becoming dependent. And as soon as a bug shows up, you don't know what to do anymore. So let's be clear. Here's what AI does very well. It speeds up repetitive tasks. It suggests templates. It helps you find specific commands. It saves you time on documentation. But here's what it will never do for you. Understand how your network is built. Make a reliable diagnosis. Choose between two technical solutions. And most importantly, Take responsibility if the config breaks everything. AI is a super calculator, but it's not an engineer. It predicts, it guesses. And in a network, we don't want guesses. We want certainties. No, AI isn't going to kill the network admin job, but it's clearly changing the rules of the game, and it's making it even more strategic than before. Why? Because today, networks have become ultra-complex. We're talking about traffic flowing between multiple data centers, public cloud, private cloud, and remote work. Security needs that go into detail. Segmentation, isolation, zero trust, critical services that must run 24-7 without interruption. In this context, AI isn't a replacement. It's your right hand. The modern network administrator isn't just someone who types commands. They're a conductor, and a conductor needs to understand the score, not just press play. Here's how AI reinforces your value. It helps you document faster. It automates basic tasks, like backups or deployments. It gives you a hand generating code or analyzing logs, and it suggests leads when you're troubleshooting. But it doesn't decide for you. It doesn't see your architecture. It doesn't understand your client's business constraints, and it will never manage a production incident if you have no idea what's happening. Bottom line is, the more AI progresses, the more indispensable those with the basics become. Because they know how to ask the right questions. Because they understand what they're doing. And most importantly, because they know how to pilot AI intelligently, while others just copy and paste. The CCNA isn't just a certification to learn how to type commands. It's training that teaches you to think in network terms. And that, no AI can do for you. 
When you master the CCNA, you understand the famous OSI model layers. You know why a packet blocks at layer 2 or layer 3. You know how to read a topology, optimize it, and secure it. You recognize good patterns and immediately spot bad practices. And most importantly, you know how to make a real diagnosis without needing a magic tool. And now, imagine combining that with good AI mastery. You multiply your power. You don't use AI to guess what you're doing. You use it to go faster in what you already mastered. You generate clean configs because you know exactly what they do. You automate with scripts, knowing when to use them and when to avoid them. You do infrastructure as code, really understanding the impacts, not just copying a YAML code found on a blog. In short, the CCNA plus AI combo is a winning formula. But AI without the CCNA is like giving a scalpel to someone who's never studied autonomy. They'll look good for a moment, but at the first mistake, it bleeds. AI isn't going to kill networking jobs, but it is going to expose the pretenders. You know who's really going to be sidelined? Those who pretend to understand. Those who accumulate YouTube tutorials without ever practicing. Those who just want the magic command without trying to understand why. The config copier. They paste lines found on a forum. They don't even know why they're putting in ACL or what it's for. Bad news for them, AI already does that, better and without stress. The follow the steps technician. They apply procedures without understanding them, but at the first unexpected issue, they're lost. No foundation equals no reaction equals blackout. The LinkedIn bluffer, the king of inspiring posts, end of module certificates, but as soon as they need to configure a real network, they panic. AI already replaces them. And conversely, the network admin who understands traffic flows, speaks the language of protocols, thinks in layer logic, and designs their network like an architect. That person becomes rarer, and therefore more valuable. AI doesn't threaten your job. It threatens your intellectual laziness. But if you have the CCNA, if you've worked on your basics, if you know what you're doing, then you're part of those AI will amplify, not replace. At the bottom line, AI is neither a threat nor a magic wand. It's an amplifier. It makes the good ones even better, and it makes the imposters even more visible. You have two options. Either you rely on AI, cross your fingers and hope it works out, or you master the basics, understand what you're doing, and then use AI as a real lever. The CCNA gives you the map. AI is the car. But without a map, you're driving randomly. And in a network, random always ends up crashing. You don't get the CCNA to compete with AI. You get the CCNA to understand what AI suggests to you and know how to say yes, no, or better. Today, the profiles that combine solid networking foundations, analytical reflexes, and good AI usage, those are the new must-haves in IT. It's more than an advantage. It's a game changer. If you're still here, you're part of the post-credits crew. You know, like in Marvel movies. The real ones always stay till the end, because that's when the game-changing stuff happens. And just like we've seen, AI doesn't replace the fundamentals, it amplifies them. If you want to build rock-solid skills that won't get outdated by the next algorithm update, the best move today is to get CCNA certified. Not to memorize commands, but to become a real network strategist. The kind of pro AI tools will support, not replace. Because if you're just copying scripts from ChatGPT without knowing what they really do, you're one surprise away from a total meltdown. And in IT, surprises are daily business. If you want help creating a real plan to level up and crush the CCNA, here's your next step. Book your free strategy call with one of our team members. You'll talk to a real expert, someone who'll listen to your situation, assess your goals, and guide you toward the path that actually fits you. By the end of that call, you'll walk away with crystal clear direction, where you're going, how to get there, and how to combine AI with solid network skills that actually hold up. And if your profile matches what we're looking for, motivated, growth steady, willing to put in the work, you might get invited to join our full program. Because at Formip, we're not here to train everyone. We don't just train, we transform. And if you're ready for real change, it starts here. Thanks for sticking around until the end. If you're still here, chances are you're not just trying to survive in IT, you want to stand out. So let's be real. You can keep watching videos, reading posts, scrolling through debates, or you can take action.
If you want to become a solid network admin, someone who truly understands what they're doing, not just someone who blindly copies scripts from AI, then the next step is simple. Book a call, not a sales pitch, a real conversation about your goals, your career path, and how you can earn that CCNA that actually moves the needle. The link is in the description. Click it, pick your slot, and let's talk about how to turn your skills into a serious career boost. Because AI is cool, but a pro who knows what they're doing, that's irreplaceable. Your move.